Day three. Still no Wi-Fi. Rough. We woke up the next day and finally found some like somewhat healthy food. Come on, come on through. Welcome to Thornberry. For our local breakfast spot, coffee number one. The boys in here, they don't like coffee number one. They don't have the English breakfast. Me and Tony found the juice spot, sniffed him out like some fucking bloodhounds. So like the whole time we were in London, I keep seeing like all the people who work for the city, they all had dope ass pants on. The trash men out here have more swag than half the motherfuckers I know in the States. So we're about to hit the hardware store and try to find some. So I finally found out the store that they sold them at, shout out to Screwfix. And then yeah, we found a Screwfix on the way to the next stop, Cops and Fire Pants, which I'm unfortunately not wearing right now. Then we had a few hours to kill before the next shop stop. We were on the way to Entity. We showed up early. We Went to the skate park. Stop playing skate park. It was like a skate park, but it was just a bowl. Sick ass bowl in the middle of like a field in some like residential area. But it was like crazy snake run and then like a big section and like a little mini in it. It was pretty fun. Yeah, we had about an hour until we had to be at the shop stop. So we're going to come here and probably watch Dugan Shred. He said he's not going to, but watch him. He's going to roast. I told myself I wasn't gonna ride because I'm trying to take it easy on this trip since I'm hurt. And then you know, I'm floating around the bowl with all the dudes and got to have some limes, so it's fun. Wow. That was crazy. Jeez, Tommy. It's hard to go up. I don't think I can get it very much higher than that. Yeah, dude, sick. Oh, damn. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> bud. It's alright, dude. It's alright. Dugan said some gaps over like the hips. I didn't really touch my bike, I just skated. <laughs> then we bailed. Drove to Pool to a bike shop called Entity. We went to Entity BMX shop, which is inside Prevail Skate Park. Prevail Skate House, where Entity is based. We get to this shop and uh, they got a pretty sick skate park there. A bike shop inside of a scooter shop, inside of a skate park with like a food court thing is the first thing where we rode. I was fucking so stoked. How are you doing all right? Good to see you. Showed up to Entity and just started shredding. We pulled up, like third run in, Dugan smashed the light. I saw this transfer. And this like massive transfer did this big 360. You forget to always think about the roof, you know? You always gotta have it in your mind. Nailed his head. Glass went everywhere. Don't know how he didn't die. That's what happens when you bring Tom Dugan to some motherfucking indoor rims. There's no ceiling high enough for this man. Check this shit out. He broke the bowl out. <laughs> still swinging. It's still swinging. It's still fucking swinging. <laughs> Typical Ethan fashion, he was full X Games mode, crushing the skate park. There was a Brezzy jump. Watched Ethan do a backflip. Pretty funny. Austin was on the microphone. Okay, check it out. He's like, oh, Ethan's gonna do a backflip. Some little kid, like an eight-year-old kid's like, don't be a pussy. And I was like, well shit. Now I have to. <laughs> oh yeah, I learned a trick that day. I learned Nolly crank arm. Said it was perfect.
I get shit a bunch of times trying this like shaky nose jam thing. I killed myself on the trip. Come to these shop stops, I'm hanging out, alright? <laughs> I'm fucking hurt. <laughs> Check it out, we're gonna be doing the signing at 8.15. Jams and prizes afterwards. We're gonna do a high jump, a long jump, a best trick. So shout out to all you guys for coming out, hanging out, shredding hard at us. After that we did a signing. Uh, sat at a table, signed some fucking posters. Kids lined up, you know, everyone was stoked, signing everything from children to bicycles. Posters, shoes, helmets, t-shirts, anything people add, phones. I met a lot of fans of mine there, which is pretty cool, but one, one kid in particular wanted me to shine his, sign his Dylan Reader shoes when we got there. We were like sitting in the cafeteria, drinking some milkshakes, signing autographs. Kids like a long ass line, out fucking door. We had like a long jump contest. It was really between two dudes, and one of them was our boy Phil. Bumped back into the uh, teammate Phil Martin. Yeah, he was on the London trip with us. Oh, yeah. The high air contest that we put on was crazy. We continue to have another contest to see if somebody can go and touch the ceiling with their bike. That one was one of my favorites. The high air, same deal. Phil was just killing it. Definitely almost hit the roof. Our main man Phil came through and literally almost touched the ceiling with his, with his elbow. Phil hit the ceiling pretty much. This kid, Lil T, he must have been 12 years old. Some little shredder. How old was that kid? He was like 10 or 12, and he was like getting eight or 10 out of that quarter. He was roasting the red, Lil T. The one he went the highest on, he leaped out. Totally ate shit. Totally, he just took it like a man. It was sick. He's a savage. Shout out to you, Big T. Shout out to that kid, he was blasting it. Park had a really sick street spine in a mini, so I was pretty much just riding that the whole night. Uh, Tony was riding it with me. Austin did a fucking flare, kinda ish. I attempted to get some clips. I think I did a half ass flare. He always says he's gonna, he never does it. So shout out to Austin, he finally pulled through with the flare. Hey, 20 seconds into the tune, you know who this artist is because there's something unique about your work. That's why they put this record on. Not because it sounded like this one or it's just comfortably between some work. Just did a little bit more cruising and you know got got a little vibey and felt this uh step up, step down setup. And I spun up it and it worked out so good that I just had to spin back down it, you know, it was one of those one of those things and uh luckily landed it fucking right at the coping and it still was pretty painful but uh Happy with it. I didn't think that was gonna work on the way back that down. That was fucking fire. That was so. You did that so perfect. Whew. That worked. That was that. insane. Yeah. Good park, good vibes. And uh, yeah, thanks for having us. And then uh, headed to Bournemouth for the night. Shout out to everybody who came.